Would Obama save you if you were drowning? <laughs> Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin was born on October 7, 1952 in Leningrad, Soviet Union, now St. Petersburg, Russia. He was the youngest of three children in a working-class family. His father, Vladimir Spiridonovich Putin, was a conscript in the Soviet Navy, and his mother, Maria Ivanovna Shelomova, was a factory worker. The family lived in a communal apartment, sharing facilities with other families, which was typical in the post-war Soviet Union. Putin's early years were marked by the hardship and poverty that followed World War II. Despite these challenges, his parents instilled in him the values of hard work and discipline. Putin attended Leningrad State University, where he studied law and graduated in 1975. It was during his university years that he joined the KGB, the Soviet Union's security agency. Putin was recruited by a professor who worked for the KGB, recognizing his potential for intelligence work. After graduation, Putin underwent further training at the 401st KGB school in Okta, Leningrad. His education and training equipped him with skills in espionage, surveillance, and foreign languages, particularly German. This period was critical in shaping his analytical abilities and strategic thinking, which would later play a significant role in his political career. Putin's career in the KGB spanned 16 years, from 1975 to 1991. He initially worked in Leningrad, conducting counterintelligence operations. In the mid-1980s, he was stationed in Dresden, East Germany, where he gathered intelligence on NATO and monitored political developments. This assignment provided him with a deep understanding of international relations and the geopolitical landscape of Europe. Putin returned to Leningrad in 1990, shortly before the collapse of the Soviet Union. Disillusioned with the KGB's waning influence, he retired from the agency with the rank of lieutenant colonel. His time in the KGB instilled in him a sense of loyalty and secrecy, traits that would define his political approach. After leaving the KGB, Putin transitioned to a political career. In 1991, he became an advisor to Anatoly Sobchak, the mayor of Leningrad, who was also his former law professor. Putin's role involved international relations and foreign investments, which helped him build a network of influential contacts. In 1994, he was appointed as the first deputy chairman of the St. Petersburg City Administration. This position marked his entry into the political landscape of post-Soviet Russia. Putin's administrative skills and ability to navigate complex political environments gained him recognition and set the stage for his rise in national politics. Putin's early political roles were crucial in establishing his reputation as a competent and reliable administrator. In 1996, he moved to Moscow and joined the Presidential Property Management Department. His efficiency and effectiveness caught the attention of higher authorities, leading to his appointment as deputy chief of the presidential staff in 1997. By 1998, Putin was appointed the head of the Federal Security Service, FSB, the KGB's successor. His tenure at the FSB reinforced his image as a law and order leader. In 1999, he was named secretary of the Security Council, further consolidating his power within the Russian political system. In August 1999, President Boris Yeltsin appointed Vladimir Putin as Prime Minister of Russia. At the time, Putin was relatively unknown to the public, but Yeltsin saw him as a trustworthy successor. Putin's first significant challenge as Prime Minister was the Second Chechen War, where he adopted a hardline stance to restore federal control over Chechnya. His decisive actions in Chechnya boosted his popularity and portrayed him as a strong leader capable of restoring order. As Yeltsin's health declined, he resigned on December 31, 1999, naming Putin as acting president. 
This sudden transition marked the beginning of Putin's ascent to the highest office in Russia. Putin was officially elected president of Russia in March 2000, winning a majority of the vote. His first term focused on stabilizing the economy, which had been severely impacted by the 1998 financial crisis. Putin implemented a series of economic reforms, including tax cuts and regulatory changes, which spurred economic growth. He also centralized power, reducing the influence of regional governors and oligarchs. Re-elected in 2004, Putin continued to strengthen the federal government, improve public services, and combat terrorism. By the end of his second term, Russia experienced significant economic growth, though criticisms about democratic backsliding and media control persisted. Due to constitutional term limits, Putin could not seek a third consecutive term in 2008. Instead, he endorsed Dmitry Medvedev, who won the presidency, while Putin became prime minister. During this period, Putin maintained significant influence over Russian politics. His government focused on modernizing the economy and dealing with the global financial crisis of 2008. Despite his official position as prime minister, Putin was widely regarded as the primary power behind the presidency. This era was marked by the continued centralization of power and the development of a political system that kept Putin at its core. In 2012, Putin returned to the presidency, winning a controversial election marred by allegations of fraud. His third term was characterized by increased nationalism and assertive foreign policy. Key events included the annexation of Crimea in 2014, which led to international sanctions and military involvement in the Syrian civil war. Domestically, Putin faced growing dissent and economic challenges, exacerbated by falling oil prices and sanctions. Despite these issues, he maintained high approval ratings. In 2018, Putin was re-elected for a fourth term, continuing his focus on strengthening Russia's global influence and internal stability. Throughout his tenure, Putin has implemented various domestic policies aimed at stabilizing and developing Russia. His government focused on economic reforms, reducing poverty, and improving public services. Key reforms included tax restructuring, pension system changes, and efforts to combat corruption. Putin also prioritized national security, increasing funding for the military and law enforcement. His administration's approach to governance has been marked by centralization of power, with a strong emphasis on maintaining control over political opposition and the media. These policies have resulted in both significant achievements and considerable controversies. Putin's economic policies have been a mix of market reforms and state intervention. Early in his presidency, he introduced tax reforms, reduced bureaucracy, and promoted foreign investment, leading to significant economic growth. However, the reliance on oil and gas exports made the economy vulnerable to global price fluctuations. The 2008 financial crisis and subsequent Western sanctions following the annexation of Crimea posed substantial challenges. In response, Putin promoted import substitution and sought new trade partners. Despite these efforts, the Russian economy has faced stagnation, highlighting the need for diversification and further reforms. Putin's foreign policy has been characterized by efforts to restore Russia's status as a global power. Key strategies included strengthening ties with former Soviet states, countering NATO expansion, and forging alliances with non-Western countries. Putin's assertive actions, such as the intervention in Ukraine and Syria, demonstrated his willingness to challenge Western influence. He emphasized multilateralism, participating in organizations like BRICS and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Putin's foreign policy moves have often been controversial, leading to strained relations with the West, but also solidifying Russia's role on the global stage. Putin's relationship with the West has been complex and often contentious. 
Initially, he sought to improve ties with Western countries, even offering support in the wake of the 9-11 attacks. However, disagreements over NATO expansion, the Iraq War, and Russia's internal politics led to growing tensions. The 2008 Georgian War and the 2014 annexation of Crimea significantly worsened relations, resulting in sanctions and diplomatic isolation. Despite these challenges, Putin has maintained a pragmatic approach, engaging in dialogue and negotiations when necessary, while also promoting a narrative of Western antagonism to rally domestic support. Putin's leadership has been marred by numerous controversies and criticisms. Accusations of election rigging, suppression of political opposition, and human rights abuses have been widespread. High-profile incidents, such as the poisoning of Alexander Litvinenko and the imprisonment of political dissidents like Alexei Navalny, have drawn international condemnation. Corruption remains a significant issue, with many alleging that Putin's inner circle has benefited from his rule. Despite these criticisms, Putin's supporters argue that his policies have brought stability and economic growth to Russia. The polarizing nature of his leadership continues to provoke intense debate both domestically and internationally. Putin is known for his carefully curated public persona, emphasizing physical fitness and traditional values. He holds a black belt in judo and is an avid practitioner of other martial arts. Putin enjoys outdoor activities such as fishing, horseback riding, and ice hockey, often showcasing these hobbies in state media to promote an image of strength and vitality. His personal life is kept relatively private. He was married to Lyudmila Shkrebneva from 1983 until their divorce in 2013, and they have two daughters, Maria and Katerina. Putin's interests and hobbies reflect his efforts to connect with the Russian public on a personal level. Vladimir Putin's legacy is complex and multifaceted. Supporters credit him with restoring stability and national pride to Russia after the chaotic 1990s. Under his leadership, Russia regained its status as a major global player, with significant influence in international affairs. However, his tenure has also been marked by authoritarianism, suppression of dissent, and strained relations with the West. The long-term impact of his policies on Russia's political and economic landscape remains a subject of intense debate. As he continues to shape Russia's future, Putin's legacy will likely be a blend of formidable achievements and profound controversies.